Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Gray, and I'm just plain living today. Good morning. I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. And here we are once again. Yes, we are. It seems Facing like a, a rainy uh, day. Well, it just and it just can't decide whether it wants to be spring is or, this or not. Winter? This I must be it's, dogwood it's, winter. It's got to yeah. be, but I hate, don't you hate to see the dogwoods leave? I love How many of these are we going to have now? We got dogwood winter. Then there's yeah, some blackberry, blackberry winter. Yeah, something like that, yeah. I don't know what other. I don't know. I don't know. I just take it day by take day. Day by day. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I do know one thing. I, I would not imagine there is any way after this winter and this spring that we will have to worry about whether we have enough water to wash our cars and water the grass. <laughs> no, I That's doubt that is an issue this time. That's a good thing. That lake yeah. ought to be full to the gills yeah. out Water. there. Say you're right. Water is going to run out one of these days. Well, it's a very, uh, it's a very necessary, of course, commodity. Exactly. And and we don't have zinc in our water. I hope, like you know, they're getting in some other states. Oh no. No. So, you know, I always worry about stuff actually, like that. Actually, the water quality around here is excellent. Excellent. Yes. Very, very good. I, I just drink water from the tap. A lot of people buy water all the time, and I just don't. Studies have, many studies have shown, particularly with the water in this area, uh, that you're just, you know, just it, well in, in a lot of cases, yeah. the water from the tap here in Tullahoma and Shelbyville, Manchester, is is probably Pure, yeah. it's better than bottled water actually <laughs> because of all cases. the springs yeah. i think isn't that true right yeah. well no actually Maybe, or duck, is it, it just it, the it, fact it, that we have it's uh, duck river isn't it duck river that randall breakers yeah did? yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah they have this elaborate fil filtration and they take care of state of the art That's kind of wonderful. thing but the thing the thing about it is even the water in the lake is purer than water that you find down in South Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sulfur, I can remember going to Granny Tidwell, Granny Gray's house in Crowley, Louisiana, and I mean, the water was almost thick. Mm -hmm. It had so much in it and, and it stunk. But there are yeah. a lot of people like that think sulfur. sulfur. I mean, it was water horrible. Yeah. for you, don't they? What? People used to come for miles around to my father's, our farm, and get water out of the Spring. well that yeah. had sulfur yeah. in it. Yeah, right. Because they said it was medicinal or something. Well, and at one point, I think uh, Tullahoma or this area, Winchester Springs and Tullahoma, was a water destination because out by out by Tim's Ford Lake, out by Holiday Marina, there's still a foundation of an old hotel out there. Oh, there is. That was a resort hotel, and I think they said in that little valley right there where it was, 13 different types of water ran wow. into that valley. Interesting. And people would come from Nashville the, the ladies and children would come to Tullahoma and this area and spend the summer. Just because of just the water? Just because of the water and the businessmen would ride back and forth on the train. They would come on, come home on Friday afternoon and leave out on Sunday night or early Monday morning and ride back to Nashville. So this was a little tourist hub. Yep. Yeah, it was at one time. Yeah. And, and you look at some of the old pictures where across from downtown where the uh, First Baptist Church has their activity center. Yeah. On both of those corners, of course, that one lot's vacant, and the other corner has the activity center. There were two three-story hotels there, oh Victorian, with a with Was a wood with a wood crosswalk across yeah. that street, in between the two of them. Was that yeah. in the eighteen hundred? Yeah, that yeah, was gorgeous. Very interesting. A lot of and the railroad made right all that happen. Sure. If it wouldn't have been for the railroad, none of it would have been there. World War II troops coming through, kind of. Well, World War One, Camp P. Was first, yeah, they were okay. here in World War One as well. So, Tullahoma this has some important history. Yeah, very, very historical type of situation. Sure is, sure is. I need to know more about it. We so. have a short. We have a short. We're on a short leash this morning. Oh, okay. We have a long show. We have a lot of stuff going on today, which is great. Uh, Real quick, uh, I'm sure everybody knows about it and heard about it and we'll hear about it, keep on hearing about it. Poor old Jordan Spieth had a meltdown in the Masters the other day. Yeah, I, saw, you, I, I haven't seen one like that, that in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I can see it happening because I've done it a thousand times, but then he's a, he's a really Well, the thing golfer. about it is, is everybody's talking about this and nobody's, very few of them, I can't believe he did this, and I, very few people, the talking heads, are remembering this is a 22 year old boy sure. yeah. yeah 
This is not a this is not a thirty year old veteran. Exactly. Yeah. This is a twenty two year old. Yeah. Guess what? How many mistakes did you make at twenty two? <laughs> oh my god. I'm you. still making oh them. I'm yeah. still making them today. <laughs> You know, so give let's give let's Jordan a, give, let's give Jordan a, a prop up. He's a great young man. Yes, he He'll is. be just fine. And uh, with that said, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back. And don't go away because we've got plenty for you to see on today's Just Plain Living show. The Kia Summer's On Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summer's On Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what, what I am now and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is our segment we call Police Pointers, and appropriately so. We have Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell here today to, I'm sure, give us some good information. He scared me a little bit when he first came up here because he says, well, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> well, you know, we use, a lot of times I don't have a clue, but Paul always has something to get us started. But I do, I, then you thought of something. I, uh, well, I, I had something in mind coming in. I knew I, you I, did, Paul. You know, but as, police chief, as, as it normally goes, we get off track, uh, right? Right, <laughs> and, and, and we may get a little bit of what we plan to discuss in. But yeah, as I was telling you too before we came on, uh, several people comment about seeing our segments, and uh, so and they'll repeat what we talked about, so we know that they are truly listening, which is always encouraging. It, it is, it? and uh, and they off they ask me, well, how do you feel being on TV? And I said, well, sitting with Mr. Fuller, you don't realize. You, you know, you get to talking, and and you forget the camera's even on. Yes, and I always, I always remember uh, one of the classics uh, comments I've ever got, and I also get quest uh, people commenting about specific things that we've said. You know, because they didn't know that, or mm -hmm. you know, th things about the law. Of course, the the, the classic for me was uh, when somebody says, "Well, I bet you don't have to worry about a speeding ticket now that you're working <laughs> with the chief of police," and I said, "No, that's totally wrong. That I wouldn't even ask." number one and and I probably would get less favoritism than somebody he totally didn't know so, no, that, that's, so uh, that, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah I, I know I know but yeah I enjoy all of these and it is a good opportunity to share with the community uh, issues police issues um, things of interest mm -hmm. and, and I do hear throughout the week people that will ask questions and and they'll even suggest here's a topic maybe you want to discuss mm -hmm. so uh, there's a lot of good input and uh, I, I really am pleased that we're able to do this we've been doing it a couple years right and and uh, the, the comments have become more and more frequent so got You're, a good audience you know actually yesterday the, the, something came to mind that I thought we, I might ask you, and that is it still okay to turn right on red in Tom? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as there's not a sign prohibiting it. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also, uh, we could get into a whole new conversation here. Uh, right on red after you stop. Right. You have to come. Now, we do have a couple intersections where you don't have to stop on red, yeah, but again, we're going to need more than five to seven minutes for me yeah. to explain that. 
but there are some intersections where you can just make a turn, you can yield and turn right without coming to a complete stop on red. This thing's way more complicated. It is than more you complicated, and, I, and we would have to have more than <laughs> right. you know the time we get for me to explain that. Yeah. But but it, as long as you stop and uh, stop uh, and turn, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, it it's a state law. Right. So unless it's prohibited by a sign, and and I don't think uh, we have any in Tullahoma that prohibit the right turn. Right. Right. I'd have to think about it, but offhand, right. I don't think we have any. And, and you know how many traffic signals we have in Tullahoma. We have 19. There you go. You know, see, we learned See, that. I remember that from the last time. That's right. And yeah. uh, I've had people tell me, I remember when there were only two traffic signals in yeah, Tullahoma. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's, it's good stuff. Right. But what I wanted to mention today, May 11th is our police memorial ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's still about a month away, but wanted people to be aware of it. It'll be at South Jackson Civic Center. And that's where we pay tribute to the five police officers that have died in the line of duty. Mm -hmm. um, that one day is set aside for that, but really we've talked that every day should be uh, a tribute to our police officers. And, and part of that, what I want to do today is just do a shout out to all the police officers. Um, you know, people have encounters with police every day. Uh, and some encounters are good, Hopefully the majority are are good, and then we have those where we have to do maybe what is not so good, which is the citation or the mm -hmm. arrest, or mm -hmm. um, you know. But but that is part of the job, and that's part of our responsibility. Uh, one thing I was reading the other day, and I thought, you know, that 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 is so true, and it said basically police officers are the arbiters, arbitrators, uh, twenty four seven. And I thought about that, and I, well, you know, that's right. Um, you can't call an attorney at all hours of the day. No. You can't usually call your doctor all hours mm -hmm. of the day. Uh, you know, they're just all these different occupations that are not available 24-7. But a police officer, you can get 24-7. Yeah, you, you said something there that I find really interesting. No, you can't call your doctor, nor can you call your attorney. But people get in, it seems to me, and listening to the police scanner, that people get in situations, all, or get themselves into situations all the time, where your officers actually have to go out there and they have to mediate that. And, That's and, exactly and I, right. And sometimes mm -hmm. they they may need a lawyer. Yes. And and sometimes you guys give mm -hmm. them and and that's very them. true and that's very important because like you say, listening to the scanner, it's not uncommon to hear the dispatcher give out a call uh, the officer needs to go and give them advice on a civil matter mm -hmm. and I cringe because we don't give advice attorneys right. give advice right. doctors give advice ministers give advice right. we give assistance so we have to be very because we don't have a license to give legal advice sure uh, you know and that's a it's just a misnomer that I understand, and I would have to defend it and try to explain it to someone, but, but someone else you know, just uses the wrong terminology. But we give assistance. We don't give advice. Um, but in a lot of cases, your officers probably know what the citizen's rights and, and that's are, exactly and we'll right. tell them and that's how, that's where how they would go. I, how I use that assistance, because based on our training, our experience, and our education, we can provide assistance with what resources can give you that advice, people that really can do it. So yes, exactly what you said. We have in our toolbox the knowledge of who we can send you to. One of the things I tell people is I don't like the, the response, there's nothing we can do. Right. We can always do something. And it could be as easy as saying, here's a phone number, call these folks. Uh, you know, right. this is the resource you need to be calling. Yeah. Just saying nothing we can do is like throwing your hands up and giving up. But I would suspect that sometimes you might get to a situation where, I mean, when they call 911, you're, in most cases, the, the ones who have to answer that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know some cases probably the fire department as well, but, but uh, some, a lot of times your officers will have to say, wait, this guy needs medical attention now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, it, so there's like so many director. things. Yes, yeah. you have to direct what, what is the proper course of action right. to, if it's not a police 
ac action, a police responsibility. Um, a good, for instance, uh, we've responded to the same address a couple times over the last week, and this is current, the last week, and the person wants to file a police report, but then they say, but I don't want to press charges. So, you know, you sit back and say, well, why are you calling us? Right. You know, what? So, so the officer said, can I just tell her to quit calling? I said, no, we can't because we have an obligation to respond when we're called. But you may ask the question, why aren't you doing, why are you keep calling us if you don't want to do something? Right. You know, be a little more tactful in trying to get to the answer. Uh, but then understand too that as a police officer, if you find a crime's been committed and you have probable cause, you can make the arrest yourself right. and then call that person as a witness. Right. You know, we, we aren't t totally at their mercy. Uh, so there's a lot that goes on and that's why I say a shout out to these people, these officers, because they get thrown in so many different situations that they have to do exactly what you said. They've got to be able to direct, they've got to know what resources are available, and then they've got to know what, what their limitations are. Right. And you know, so our police officers are very crucial to our community. And the ones in the uniform that respond represent about three quarters of our department. Right. So, you know, we've got some very good officers and the community should every day pay tribute to them and tell them thank you. Absolutely. We got about a minute left, so let's go back and remind them of the uh, police, uh, police memorial. memorial. Yeah. It'll be May 11th at South Jackson Civic Center, okay. which is a Wednesday okay. at noontime. Uh, the ceremony lasts about 30 minutes and then we have uh, an opportunity to uh, uh, fellowship. Uh, we'll have one of the local churches will provide snacks, so an opportunity for for us all just to sit mm -hmm. down and talk and, and be friendly. We have lost five officers in the line of duty, and uh, uh, that's what we pay tribute to on that day. Okay. But as I said, every day we should we should be thankful for our police officers. Okay. All right. And I think you know I think Paul will be back once before that. Yes. Before yes. that happens, and because uh, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't really believe that, or you wouldn't think about a police officer getting killed in the line of duty in the city of Tallahassee, but that has been the case. Mm -hmm. And one of them was due to a shootout, and he'll yeah. maybe. And we always we do, yeah. and I appreciate right. that that we're able to share the circumstances surrounding those deaths uh, a little bit before the memorial to entice someone to come out on that day. Okay, Paul, thank you so much. Thank it's you. always a pleasure. Thank you. Folks, we'll be right back in a moment with more living. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Jacob. I'm the Rooster. And I'm the Red Mate. And we would like to welcome you to Rooster Wear. Yes, Rooster Wear is a cottage industry producing accessories for men, women, children, babies, and pets. All items are hand cut and sewn locally. Rooster Wear specializes in bow ties, pocket squares, scarves, cufflinks, neckties, and aprons of all sizes for all ages. Baby products include onesies, diaper covers, bibs, and burp pads. All bow ties, tie it yourself, or pre tied come with an adjustable neckband. All products can be made with the material of your choice as special orders are available upon request. Don't be standing back looking at fashion. Create your own with Rooster Wear. Come visit us at roosterandredmaiden.com to find our handcrafted designs for the cock of the wall. <laughs> Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it.
get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with News Leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, last week we had uh, emerging country music artist Shane Owens on the show, and I was given an opportunity to go to Nashville last, thir last Thursday night to uh, watch him perform in front of, uh, do a showcase in front of a bunch of industry uh, people and publicity folks, and we had a great time up there. I took my friend Chris Auditor up there with me to make a few pictures, and we just had a ball. I want to bring you one of the songs from that show. Blame it on a woman, Shane Owens. Yeah. 
at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play. What you wear. How you dance. Or even what direction light takes you. You just need to be there. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. How long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we're going to go from the, the brilliance of Mr. Shane Owens, who just got through doing a great song, to the brilliance of my bride, Fran, from <laughs> South Jackson Civic Center. She's, she's my, my star, no matter what she does. And, you know, Shane was talking about blame it on a woman, uh, about changing a person's life. Well, it wouldn't have been for her. I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere right now. So, thank you. Well, I appreciate we'd being. be friends in the gutter too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. But one of the things this old gal does right here, young gal does right here, boy, yeah. I got out of that quick, <laughs> tried to anyway. No, I heard that. Uh, is uh, she is the facility coordinator at South Jackson Civic Center and promotes, promotes, promotes all things good. And she, like a lot of you ladies out there, and, and some gentlemen, have became infatuated with Downton Abbey. Yes. And so tell tell our audience out there what is going to happen at Jackson Abbey. That's right, John. Thank you. Even though he would not uh, watch the show. Some of it I did. I well, watched a, a few bit. episodes. Right. Well, we're doing everything we can to keep you cultured. Thank you. Yes. This Sunday, which is April 17th at 3 o'clock, Women are invited to come to South Jackson and see our facility transformed into Jackson Abbey. We, many of us, are, are very fond of the show. We hated to see it end, so we thought we'd extend it a little more into Jackson Abbey. Uh -huh. And I think most of the community is aware of the fact that we are in the process of lighting up South Jackson. Yes. And we are needing more money before we can turn that first spade of dirt in our renovation of the parking lot where there'll be good lighting, good parking, hopefully no more mud. Yeah. Hey, uh, hooray. Yes, indeed. So we are ready to uh, open the doors for a tea time. Tea time. Again, it starts at 3 o'clock, and we are asking everyone to pay $15 mm -hmm. for some wonderful savories and sweets and a cup of tea. And we are just very excited about having it. Uh, some of us may dress in period costumes because we enjoy Play, well, we do enjoy plain dress up. I don't think we ever get too old for that. But to uh, lift up that era, and interestingly, the areas of the school where the Jackson Abbey Tea will be held uh, were built in 1922. So it just all fits together yeah. beautifully. We're also celebrating 130 years since the first part of the building was put up. So we have a lot of uh, history right there at South right. Jackson Street school now known as South Jackson Civic Center and again we would love to invite uh, all the women in our area to come and share a cup of tea there are two young friends of ours 
who have played in our Young Artist Showcase who will be there on piano and violin to help entertain our guests. Right. Very so, good. So we're really excited. And, and in fact, they're going to be playing the theme from Downton Abbey. So we'll have a little Jackson Abbey piece playing that afternoon. Well, so, when, when Julia gets back out here, I want to expand this this uh, this shot just a little bit but what I want you to do before she comes out here and does that is I would think that there will be quite a few young ladies out there I want to get the tea set in the shot please we can <laughs> since how we're having a tea thank you very much uh, what is a savory? Explain what a savory is. Well a savory is something you eat that's not sweet Something non, you eat that is not sweet. Right. That would be like a scone? Well, scones I kind of consider in a sweet because of the things that I put on it. Okay. Like we're going to So eat, what would a savory be? Well, we're going to have some uh, cheeses, some things. Well, oh, okay. Cheese straws, for instance. Right, okay. A cheese straw is not sweet, but it it's delicious. But it, okay. So that, so that explains to some people. Mm -hmm. might not under, I didn't understand what uh, it was. Cheese straws uh, have been around a long time, and they're very, very appropriate for a tea party. Really? So, uh-huh. And so we'll have those. We may or may not have some fruit. Uh, we're just going to have to see what kind of strawberries are available. But we will have scones, clotted cream, and other... Wait a minute. Clotted cream. Now, that, that sounds like something that's almost rotten. Explain that. Well, that could have come out of our refrigerator, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> clotted cream. What is that? Well, it's, it's just a, a thicker type of cream. And some people like to put cream in their tea. I personally don't care for it. I like something sweet and uh, okay. and depending on the tea I like a lemon. But we're going to have Earl Grey tea. We'll also have a cold uh, punch type of tea uh -huh. that will be good. Who knows if it's going to be warm or or cool yeah, on this Sunday. Time of year, right. So we want to have something for everyone. We'll have some little cookies and little cakes and uh, just a, a time to be graceful and quiet instead of being in such a hurry all the time. Right, right. So, well, uh, John, I'd like to uh, pour you a cup of tea and invite you to slow down in your life and enjoy the good things as we are inviting our friends to come. So have a cup of tea and a smile for me. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, now, pinky lifting is not required or really <laughs> very good. <laughs> See, Magnificent. See what we've done for you over these 41 years. Magnificent. <laughs> you know, and we're going to check your vocabulary again just a little bit right here. We learned about a savory. How many of you out there know what a fascinator and a spectator is? Huh? Fascinator? I know some fascinators. Huh? That's right. That's a fascinator right. is is one of those small type things that you hook to the side. It might be a piece of lace with a feather sticking through it. Right. It's some kind of ornamental uh, flower headgear. or feather that's on a headband. Right. And you just put it on your head. And a spectator is? It's a style of shoe. Two-tone. Two-tone. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a wingtip. Ladies wingtip yes, shoe. Yes, exactly. There and you go. They were very popular in the 40s and they're still popular. That's right. So if you like to dress up in the styles of the 20s, 30s, 40s, or 2016. There you go. Please come and join us. We'll begin at 3 o'clock. We'll be there till 5. And again, we'd appreciate your calling us at South Jackson. As you see the number, 455-5321 to make your reservation. Uh, we have several ladies who want to bring friends together, and we'll have a special table reserved for them as well. Okay. You so, know what? Tell me. For 41 years, you've been my fascinator. Oh, how sweet it is. Fascinates <laughs> me every day, folks. Hey, thank you for supporting uh, South Jackson and All Things Done Good. Uh, and something else you need to think about is the big payback is coming up. And so that is May 3rd. You will have 24 hours of giving to your nonprofit that you love the most. And let's hope it's South Jackson because that money will be matched by different ways that we can win money. And we're going to light up South Jackson and refurbish and make sure that our old wonderful building here 
in the center of Tullahoma stays there for many, many years to come, thanks to the help of Fran and Colleen and Peggy and all the people, Rosie and Janet and Alan and George and all the people who work hard to keep that old building standing straight and tall. The people from Nashville who come here and play music there say it's some of the greatest acoustics that they have around. They call it the Little Ryman. So uh, how great is that? Have some tea at South Jackson at Jackson Abbey this Sunday. We'll see you there. We'll be right back. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the paint. Uh-oh. I just knocked out a tree over. This is the paint doctor. I got the color wheel. Now, you know what a color wheel is? It is the wheel that the paint works where you pick all your colors to paint your room. It could be a multicolored beard. It could be a underarm fan. You never can tell. One thing we do know is that it's time to paint. You know, you can make your wife very happy if you go to your house and paint some rooms or you paint you paint the outside of the house the inside of the house it makes them very feel very good because you work hard for them and they like that all women like to see their man sweat you know they do they do honeydew is what they do and you get to do it too so you go to the paint works at 1960 north washington street and you see dab it dab it Heikinen over there, and he's the real paint doctor. He fix you up with color. It's so nice when the color is right. Go to Paintworks today. Martin Senor. See, Martin C. Nor. Right there. Martin C. Nor at, at the Paintworks. Bye, and we see you next time. Oh, I'm burning up. You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. All right, folks, the Highland Rim Scottish Society had their annual piping on the green this past Saturday at, uh, at the Celtic Cup. And one of the great things that happened there was the Tanny Hill Weavers were there from Ireland. They are in the Irish uh, Music Hall of Fame. Great things, a lot of fun. Men in skirts, drinking beer at 9.30 in the morning, standing in front of an anvil. How, can't get any manlier than that. Let's roll the video from Piping on the Green. And this is the Highland Rim Scottish Society's Piping on the Green being held again this year at the Celtic Cup in Tullahoma. And a great time will be had today. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's piping on the green. And here's the welcome tent right here for the Highland Rim Scottish Society. And there's all kinds of booths and people in costumes. They've got their kilts on, they're wearing their tartan. Drinking cold beer early in the morning. Ah, God love the sky. Music being played, tents are up, all kinds of different crafts, people here. And the crowd is starting to gather. It's a little bit cool yet this morning, but they're having a good time already. That's a man of my own heart right there. There's all types of history here, things you can do. There's a, look at the bagpipes over there. There's Miss Fran right there. How you doing, dear? a great day though. There's Mr. Bentley right there, as you can see, adorned appropriately as always. Are you here too much of one Having of us? Having a good morning, John. Good morning, John. Everything good? 
Yeah. Everything's good. Well, we this is a great here. day. It's totally it is a great day. day. It's warming yeah. up. important tent of the day, the Highland Brewing Company. The human anchor. Ah. The human anchor. There you go. They have some that uh, uh, they do year round. They have seasonal brews and they have uh, small batch brews as well. So we're sampling uh, two of their brews today. The Gaelic is a all year round and then the uh, salt wheat is a, uh, is a seasonal one. Very good. It's good to see people drinking beer at 10 o'clock in the morning. Exactly, good Scott. You know? ah, <laughs> start the day off with a hearty beer. Our brew, ale. Ale. Ale is what it is. And here's two manly men having a cold ale early in the morning discussing, discussing all things manly around an anvil. <laughs> what better place to discuss manly things than in front of an anvil? And uh, they'll probably have some, some things that they do. They make traditional iron pieces that you could find back in the day. Piping on the green, Tullahoma, Tennessee. Now this is really cool. Here's a booth with swords and shields. And they're all made out of wood. And, and there's an axe right there. So little little ones can be, uh, can be, go to battle as well with their own sword and shield. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And here's one of my favorite groups over here. We see them every year. They're the ones that do the weaving and spinning. And I guess blanket sales will be good today, won't they? <laughs> All right, folks, this place is going to drive me crazy. This is the greatest selection of writing instruments I've seen in I don't know when. I mean, look at that bone. Aren't they beautiful? For a writer, this is where you need to come right here and look at these beautiful writing instruments. All right, right now I have Tim and Sally, and they're the principals in As the Wood Turns. And that's the that's the folks who make these beautiful pins I've been showing you. And I just want to ask a question or two. Uh, Tim, how did you get into this? Um, my dad got me started. He asked me to go down in the basement and turn a pin, and then it was going over there all the time making them, and then it just went from there and enjoy doing it. Well, your product is absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. And uh, you travel around to different shows. You're going to be at, what, Trails and Trilliums this next coming weekend? Yes, we are. We go as far as Irwin, Tennessee, which is up near Johnson City. Okay, and where can people find you? If somebody sees one of these pins that they like or something in this that you're doing here, how can they get in touch with you? How's the best way? Uh, through email or our website, woodnet.com. Woodnet, wooden mm -hmm. it? W-O-O-D-N-I-T dot com. Okay, and uh, and you're located where, out of Chattanooga? Chattanooga. All right. Well, thank you folks for coming to Telehome. I hope you have a good time here and a lot of fun. Is this your first time to be at this event? Yes, it is, yeah. and I hope to come back next year. All right. Piping on the Green, 2016, Telehoma, Tennessee, held by the Scottish Highland Rim Scottish Society. What great fun!
The Animal Shelter has served Tullahoma dogs for nearly 30 years. Now, you can help us build a bigger and better no-kill shelter. Your tax-deductible gift is matched dollar for dollar, so come on, bark it forward and donate now to have your tax-deductible gift matched. Make your check payable to the COT Shelter Building Fund and go to TullahomaTN.gov to see all the unique gifts available for your generosity. For more details, you can call City Hall at 455-2648. Did yeah. you take your medicine? Oh gosh, I forgot it. Her nurse. You need a claim number? Her personal assistant. Let me just grab a... Her housekeeper. Her cook. Her accountant. When I started taking care of mom, I didn't realize the challenge of playing so many roles. But above all, I'm still her daughter. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving to connect with experts and other caregivers. Together we can better care for ourselves and the ones we love. We always love it when the Chevable community comes forth with some of their events. Today I'm honored to have with me Connie Allen. You're the president yes, of the Bedford, Bedford County Cancer Foundation. Cancer Foundation. And uh, Karen Inman. Karen, okay, glad good to, to see, see you, you again. And we're going to talk about an event that's coming off this weekend. Yes, so you all tell me real quick about what's happening. We have our annual horse show. It's going to be on April 16th starts at 5 o'clock and it's held at uh, That's 5 p.m. I assume. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's at Calsonic uh, Champions Arena on the Celebration Grounds in Shelbyville. Okay. We have 30 classes. The admission is $5 per person. We'll have a silent auction. Have $5 is a real mm -hmm. cheap. It's a very inexpensive. Yes, very, right. very, yes it is. Nice. Um, and um, so but we hope everybody will come out and support our show. And bring up all their family because the money mm -hmm. goes to a wonderful foundation. And we have this uh, website up, so if you want to get more information, you can go there. And uh, let's tell people what it is that your foundation supports. Uh, we support anyone in Bedford County with cancer. All the money that we raise stays in Shelbyville in Bedford Can County. So if anyone needs money for uh, their house payments or it may be food whatever they need that's what we will provide for, to help with them and and you said anybody but i think you're talking about anybody in need in anybody yes. in need right yes. and, absolutely uh, if, if someone mm -hmm feels like they didn't know what the foundation was about or how they could get help, you go to that website or you may have a phone number. Do you have a phone number? We, right now we're in the process of changing our phone number. Okay. So if someone so wants to go to the website, website and find out. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is happening Saturday. When you say a horse show, what all kind of horses, what, what all is showing? All Tennessee walking horses. Right. And we have some of them that are the performance horses, and we have some of them that are what we call flat shot, yeah. to just have a more natural shoe. But there's 30 classes. It's truly great entertainment. Then we have a concession stand, even our concession stand. All the money that you buy, any kind of thing that you buy at the concession stand, that all goes to the foundation, to the foundation. as well. And, and there's great desserts because most of them are homemade from all of the ladies of, involved in the area. Yeah. They all make kind of their specialties, and we bring those and sell those too. So they, and so, they can even buy a whole entire pie probably absolutely and they take can. it home yes, for right. pies and cakes and, it for or the next slices up. That's yeah. right. And it all goes to the foundation, and we've just been blessed. It's our seventh year that we've done the work. How about show. all the people showing? Are they volunteering their time also? Well, the yeah, the, the people that are showing pay an entry fee to show okay and that goes to benefit the foundation so as well there is so, no yes. real money that you all have to put up to no, do this. no, exactly. we do and not. Absolutely. absolutely, yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. And really, everything, everything that we raise for our foundation goes to help the folks. There is no one on. We have no one on a payroll. It is a hundred percent volunteer. Wonderful. And yeah. uh, how wonderful that you have that many 
people that are willing to support we're and, blessed and step forward and cancer is a deadly I was going to say so many people there's very very few people today that haven't been touched by cancer in some way and we do deal with folks that in addition to having this horrific disease they have monetary issues and it's oh, sure. really really nice that like Connie said we can help them in mm -hmm. so many ways and the people that are trying to hold a job and then be a right. patient at home that they have to pay somebody to come in and take care yeah. of them and then the medication is horrendous right. yeah it, it is, horrendous. is horrendous and the time and it, it very I, I draining really, very yeah we draining. feel really really good about what we're able to do do you have any notion how many people uh, apply for assistance in the cancer association there in Bedford County? We meet once a month and um, we usually have anywhere from 10 to 12 people each month that each we month that you're helping that we will help mm -hmm. and uh, have you been able to keep up with your need for yes. funds yes we have mm -hmm. that's great that yeah. speaks well of your community we have this fundraiser and then we also have a fundraiser in the fall we have a run that that's a, yeah those are those are two major fundraisers and for those the are year. good yeah they're great and you can become a member of our foundation for twenty dollars or a lifetime member for two hundred and again all that money that you would give us goes directly to the folks in need for the foundation just in case there's somebody out there because this tv show goes to several counties yeah uh, explain where calsonic arena is or where the grounds are i mean i know but Connie, maybe everybody doesn't okay of course there it's located on the celebration grounds which most people are aware that where that is you just come straight into shelbyville it's right off of the main road which is madison street and you can see the signs and so if you that. happen to be from uh cookville and you want to type it into your gps uh, it would be 721 whitthorn street okay and that i think that's important to know yes, that's yes absolutely it is. we mm -hmm. reach quite a, a wide audience here and uh a lot of people, I think, are good about helping and wanting yes, to support it. Really, and a lot of people just true. love to come see the horses. Yeah, that's I mean, true. Hey, it's a great yeah. fun horse show. It, it's, it sounds like it's a very fam entertaining. family activity that yes. you can bring everybody in your family without breaking the bank. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's nice. It's on the showgrounds. It's an outdoor arena, but it's totally covered. Yeah. So rain or shine, this right. show rain goes or shine, on. the show goes on. I know Absolutely. you have some great auction items. We do, in fact. This I, is this totally silent auction? And yes, it is. It is a silent up. auction. You and want to mention anything? All donated, but 100% of it again goes to the yeah. foundation. Do you know some of the items? We have Honey. several different restaurants that have given oh, us gift certificates. That's always nice. Oh yeah. We've had we've got jewelry donations. It's just a number of different items and everything that the local people uh, try to give to us to help our. Yeah, so do y'all also sell uh, sponsorships? We do, absolutely, the event. and you can also just donate to the Cancer uh, Foundation if you just want to make a donation. Sure. But you can also uh, do a sponsorship for our horse show or for our 5K run, which is usually in November. Okay, so twice a year. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you want to share about how much money comes in, or do you have any notion of how? I think we've raised about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. See, I think that's just phenomenal. So it really it, it is. is phenomenal. We are, we are, like I and said, absolutely we're very takes that kind of money. It does. Cancer yeah. patient. Yeah. And we've been very fortunate to help so many people. And so that's the main goal of our organization. You know how long this foundation has been in business? Uh, we've been in about seven years. Seven years? Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like you've done a phenomenal job. Yeah, we're real proud of when, our organization. When did you become president? Um, just this year. I've been on the board uh, since the start of the foundation, but I just became president this year. And, and she's a great one. Uh, oh, thank well, you. obviously, <laughs> and it's it's obviously uh, tax free. Uh, right. Yes, that's right. We're Any donations are, yeah, are tax yeah. exempt. And so that when I look at these pictures, you know, you get a tear in your eye, especially when yeah. you've known right. someone that has suffered from this horrendous disease, and uh, to find people that are willing to put their heart and soul mm -hmm. into raising money or the Cancer Association. That's very touching to me especially. Well, we couldn't do it without the generosity of so many people who do sponsor right. our classes and give donations and, and give to the race, our, our 5K so race So I would in encourage fall. everybody, in the, especially in the Bedford County community, to reach out to the foundation and they'll always take a check. That's, <laughs> That's true, exactly yeah. right. They'll always and take a check. And uh, whether or not you've been touched by cancer, someday in your life you probably will be. Right. 
and it's hey, true. just go and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? it's it really is a great just fun a horse show. Time. Fine, entertaining classes. Donna, thank you. A lot of beautiful thank horses. You. Nice You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you very Here. much. You. Good to see you again. I hope you'll come back soon and thank tell you. me you've raised two hundred million dollars. <laughs> we do too. We'd love to do that. We'll be thank back you. with other things. Thank you. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Tullahoma Fire Department, Tullahoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Honey, we know you've got friends in low places who aren't real big on social graces, and we're going to help you chase the blues away. So slip on down to see the tribute to Garth Brooks at Fraser McEwen Park, May 21st at 7 p.m., immediately following the Grape and Grape Festival. Everything is going to be all right, and we're going to cause a big scene. So don't miss the dance, May 21st at 7 p.m. in Tullahoma. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. I'm John Rickman, and this is Pat Welch, and we're here with our sixth segment. Sixth segment of conversation with John. The Grand Ole Opry is in its five thousandths, whatever, whatever. Now we've got a ways to go, but uh, I don't expect if, it. To if we can ever get them to slow down a little bit, we'll catch them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is this song was written by an Albert Brumley in 1932 and it's called I'll Fly Away, one of my favorite. Some glad morning when this life is over I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away oh glory I'll fly away in the morning when I
song. That Pat. is beautiful, John. And uh, we're in the Easter season now, and quite appropriate. And so, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It and we're, is. we're both believers, and uh, that song means a lot to us. And certainly there are things that are, are, are very serious about the church. And then there are some things occasionally that come up in churches a little bit on the humorous order. Correct. And uh, we, we both believe that we ought to be in church on Sunday and, yep. and, uh, and are devout attenders of our local churches. But there is, there is humor in, uh, in Christianity. In fact, we had a discussion before we got started here. I educated at least two or three of you. <laughs> I forgot. That, uh, there's a, a story in Mark's Gospel, I think the 15th chapter, when it's talking about Jesus' arrest mm -hmm. and that uh, somebody fled the scene and the tunic fell off and he fled naked. <laughs> and uh, to me, if Mark uh, intended for that to, uh, not to have some humor, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have put the, the scene in there, depicted it in, the, in that way. And uh, we well, both have to admit that there's, there's times in, in church that there is some humor. Well, you know, Pat, they didn't have an attic outlet or a Good Samaritan program back that time. No. He, that boy could have got clothes somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today, I was thinking about Tommy Martin, our friend. And you tell that story real well about uh, our buddy Tommy Martin. Well, he uh, said we could tell this, by the way. Well, that's, that's perfect, then. With, with his consent, we'll go on. Um, he attended Marble Plains for a, a time, Baptist Church out by the uh, Thames Ford Park. And the pastor is uh, Brother Jack Heiss, who's also a, a, a great man. Great and, man. And, uh, we, and we've been friends a long time with him. And Dave, Marble Plains built a fellowship hall back when I was at the Builder Supply, and we gave them some advice and, and uh, helped them with some prices and so forth. And they were so kind that when they dedicated that with a, at a church uh, service on Sunday that they invited me so I went to my church in the, early in the morning then went to their church in the later in the morning and uh, it was an incredible service it was jam-packed and Tommy was off to the side in a wing running all the, uh, audio. the lights and the audio and um, following the, uh, Jack got in the pulpit to preach right after some incredible music by somebody that they brought in a, 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 a young lady and uh, he first got in the pulpit he said wow he said all this special music today and especially that last song he said how in the world am I gonna follow that and Tommy hollered back from the side he said with a short sermon <laughs> <laughs> And that brought the crowd Tommy down. Martin, he <laughs> is wild. He is something. And Judy says he wakes up that way. It's just he's that way all the time. Hits he's the floor wilder. there. Yes, that's right. That's, that's right. right. But uh, Tommy uh, is a lot like other people. I remember when I first came to Grace Baptist Church years ago, it was almost considered out in the country. And uh, Jewel Pruitt, who was a pastor at that time, he was from Louisville. And he had run track there. I'm not sure. He looked more like a shot putter. <laughs> but but uh, Jewel and I got out uh, in front of the church one day at a special fellowship day or whatever. I don't know. I was in my 20s, and he was in his 20s, too. And we started at one telephone pole, and we were going to have a race to another telephone pole. Here I was, a coach over at East Junior High School. and. And, and Jewel, a former track man, and we ran hard Looking as we like could. Kind of like that Greek god that we <laughs> saw in that picture last week. <laughs> we, we ran as hard <laughs> as we could, and, and we wound up tying. So it didn't hurt either one of our feelings each, that so, so bad, you know, but uh, that was a fun thing to, to do back that time. And just shows you how youthful you are and how many times in, uh, <laughs> uh, in uh, uh, the church life that you do things such as that. We have fellowships and things like that. I'll tell you another cute church story that, that you've told me a couple of times is when uh, Coach Osteen, <laughs> who uh, coached in Tallahoma baseball and football, I believe. He was yes. a head baseball and assistant football in the early 60s. And then he went to Franklin County for a short term and came back as a, an administrator. Principal. He's principal at East. Uh, when uh, And they brought him. He'd had some 
extra work, or maybe his master's thesis was on middle schools, yes. and we were going to go from a junior high system where you had the freshmen with the seventh and eighth graders. We were going to move the ninth graders to the high school and uh, have middle schools, and so that he was brought to Tullahoma to to help mm -hmm. usher that that period in. But now he was a a good church person, but when you ask him where he sat, he said he wanted to sit in the back. Uh, and if you cued into what, why are you a little bit bashful? And he said, no, I'm not bashful at all. He said, I like to hear some real strong preaching where they, uh, a lot of conviction and some conscience get bothered. And he said, and the preacher's doing a real good job. If you sit in the back, you can see the back of their ears turning red. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Old Steve was something. He was something You know, his else. boys, we're about through here, but his boys never missed a day of school. They had three sons, and all of them went every single day. I'm sure they were sick sometimes <laughs> when they should have been there, uh, when they should have been home maybe, but he, they never missed any school. He was a very, you know, he believed in making them work and making them be prompt. And Mr. Osteen was a heck of a guy. He was a little bit short. But he was he was <laughs> stout and he ran a tight ship and we may be able to talk about that a little bit uh, in one of our and next segments. Time. How and he ran that tight ship. We've sure enjoyed ourselves though. Yeah, yeah. All right, John. That probably just wraps wraps. This was segment six. Well, I'm losing count. Go ahead, Pat. I believe it's uh, uh, segment six, and that's not the end of the conversations, as long as management says we can continue. We get closer to a world with more birthdays when we take cancer patients by the hand. We help them find answers and guidance and hope and give them more candles to light. We're the American Cancer Society. Help create a world with more birthdays at morebirthdays.com. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit Tullahoma and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. A world without breast cancer is a world with more birthdays. And signing up for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will help us get there faster. The American Cancer Society invests in groundbreaking breast cancer research and we're part of every community. In fact, one in two women newly diagnosed with breast cancer turns to us for support. Sign up today at makingstrideswalk.org. Together, we can finish the fight against breast cancer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back. Aren't you glad everybody came back? Yeah, we came back. Didn't you love that dancing? The oh dancing was good. That was beautiful. Yeah, the dancing with the stars. We we videoed all of that, and we'll have a video out on that before long. And they made uh, a lot of money for the Mac. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what it was for. Yeah, the place was packed. How, what a uh, what a tribute to that town and the people around right. that they want to support the performing yeah, arts. Yeah, there were probably there that's were probably wonderful. 350, 400 people. There. That's great. That's great. You know, so uh, belly up. Well, get belly up to the bar. <laughs> Try to, you know, there's so many things to support, but That's to right. validate a community as a place you want to live, it's that all these things are important to have the arts and to have the science center and all these right. different things right. that take so much more money than we actually have. That's right. That's right. Even but though we're, we're, we're we proud hate to, to beg, be here. but we're proud to be here. We're proud to beg. It doesn't bother me to beg. Does it you? Yes. Uh, that's. A, I cannot ask for money, Harley. It's no. 
anyway, I think we're done here. We're done. <laughs> we're going to end with uh, some more piping on the green. Most of this will be dancing and music. Hope you enjoy it, because we sure did. We'll see you next time. Thank you. So Every every time in, in this in the stage, <coughs> people are singing away. They're quite happy. La di ay, la di o. And then this next line's looming up, and it all kind of crumbles. <laughs> and I know what's going to see the wheels turning. They're going, what does that mean? I'm not singing that. It might be filthy. <laughs> the word that's uh, probably puzzling you is the word plow boy, boy, which just means plow boy. The man behind the plow. So sing it with gusto. It's so <coughs> perfectly innocent. This is uh, the Blue Boy Laddies with audience participation, he said confidently. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Yeah. 